My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Hey, I've got a special one for you right here. I bought this from the original owner, a 1979 Trans Am with 38,000 miles. This car is all original. It's a survivor and it's loaded with options. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you get all the pricing and specs, uh, pictures of this car and a few hundred other collector cars we have for sale. So go to volocars.com to check that out. But for right now, how about I take you for a spin in this 1979 Trans Am. Yes, this gentleman bought it brand new. Actually, his mother bought it for him for graduating high school with high honors. We have the original order form. They went in and they ordered this car. They checked off every option except cruise control is the only thing it doesn't have. And what you see is original. Tires have been changed, obviously, but this thing's a really well-kept survivor car. It had been sitting for a while. We picked it up with our trailer, and we just spent over $3,500 going through and servicing the car. Uh, the whole brake system's been redone, uh, the calipers, all the fluids, new radiators, so the uh, fresh antifreeze, the transmission was serviced, new filter, uh, the fuel system was completely gone through. I think a new fuel pump. Uh, so we have an invoice, and they'll be on our website with everything we did. So this thing is turnkey, ready to go. Mayan red with the uh, nice accented stripes, the orange and red. It's the WS6 package, which is the handling package, which means it has the wider wheel. If it has the lip here, that's the wider wheel. I think that's one of the best looking wheels ever produced. It has the gold in the middle there. Really nice wheels. Obviously it has T-tops. The shaker hood has never been cut open or messed with. It has a power antenna. This is the original front bumper in real nice shape. There's a little scuff right here. Um, but very nice, fits really well. The original decal's in excellent shape. The original windshield's crystal clear. It has the rub strips here. These are glued on, but that probably saved it from different door dings. There are no door dings. It's real straight. There's no rust down here. The rubber's nice. The weather strips are nice. Door jams are original and still real clean. That's the deluxe interior, the cloth velour interior. Door panels are mint. Even the chrome that usually peels off looks like it's real nice still. It has power locks, power windows, power trunk release. There's so many options on this car. It didn't all fit on one window sticker. It actually has two window stickers. Trunk light works. The jack is still mounted up here where it's supposed to be. It has the collapsible tire with the air bottle. It has the uh, Fisher bags for the T-tops. This one has the extra insulation package, so it has a trunk mat and insulation underneath. There will be extra insulation used throughout the interior. Just made it quieter. I put my hand up under the seat. The original build sheet is still under the seat. I'm just going to leave it there because we have a window sticker. No reason to pull it out. I mean, it's cool that it's there. The instrument panel looks like brand new. It has that machine turned. Uh, bezel, it's excellent. The gauges are excellent. It's a tilt formula wheel. This is just cleaned up and and you know just maintained and cleaned up, but very original. Uh, a lot of new gaskets, oil pan gasket, valve cover gaskets, uh, front seal. I see it has a new fuel pump, a new master cylinder. All the duct work is all there for the. Uh, shaker hood, uh, everything is proper in the way it should be uh, there. Um, <clears throat> he did change the stereo and there's six by nine speakers back here. No speakers cut into the doors or anything like that. I opened the ashtray and it's still shiny silver. I checked the cigarette lighter and it looks like it's been used once or twice. And I know he was fussy and I said, oh man, who did you let use your uh, cigarette lighter? And you can tell he was still aggravated. He said it was an old girlfriend back in the 80s, and he was still upset that she did that. 
Um, we had tilt wheel, really nice shape. This quarter panel was repainted. You would have to be a body man or someone that really knows what you're looking for to even know that, but he did tell me that in a parking lot uh, it got scraped, so this was painted. The whole rest of the car is original. And the paint actually looks really good. We just had it professionally buffed and detailed. Runs real nice and smooth. It's got electric rear defroster. Carpets are in real nice shape. There is a crack in the rubber right here. The headliner is drooping, which happens on all of these because they had a little bit of, of foam padding which just disintegrates and with the T-tops off and the wind flapping. So it needs a new headliner. You have that cracked piece of rubber. And that's really about it. There is a scuff here. It looks like we might be able to polish that off. But the car is in remarkably uh, good condition. We did put two new mufflers on it as well. Yeah, fully loaded, red T-top car, one owner. It's completely serviced and ready to go. Very desirable car. They're only original once. You can go out and restore as many of these as you want. You can't find them original like this and they have this much going for it in this good a condition. So go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact us. We have a staff of people that can help you with any questions or concerns. We have shipping, we have financing. So visit the website, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's the best way to see these videos as we put them out. So I do appreciate your time. Thanks for watching and we got a lot more coming.